Um, I, I have a poet friend of mine, Claude Wilkinson, and I once asked him, how do you know when you're done with a poem? And he says, well, sometimes there are poems. I read them and I just feel well pleased with it. Honestly, it didn't happen until February of 2018 that I felt like I figured out a path for this. I, I mean, I had in mind that I wanted to tell a family story for a long time. Yeah. And in my mind, I would often think it's going to be a family story that starts in Korea. And it's going to be expansive and you see like the Korean War and it's epic. Um, but it wasn't until like 2018, I realized I'm the age of my dad when he moved us to that farm. And then my daughter is now the age that I was when I moved to that farm. And um, there was a resonance about that, about where I find myself in life now. Like, like I could understand more my dad's story of, of what he yeah. was doing. And, and that helped a great deal. And I thought, I, I guess this means I'm ready. Like I, I, I know how to, how to write a script about this stuff because I, I really feel something about it. What I wanted to avoid and what I noticed if I, if I ever thought about that process being included in the film uh, was that the story ends up being about that obstacle of overcoming that initial shock into yeah. this culture. And, um, and then as viewers, American viewers, we would kind of have one step ahead of them. Well, we know what it takes for you to be one of us. You know, it, it, the standpoint of watching the film changes, but if, if they are already in America and they're just starting a journey into something completely new in another part of the US, um, I felt like we're more on equal terms with, with this family as American viewers. Mm -hmm. um, so, so that meant a lot to me. And I felt like um, it, it allows American viewers to see this family as a human family rather than as an immigrant family. It's miles different. Um, the good thing is like, I feel like I've gone through enough films now. Like I, this is my fourth feature where I built in that sort of heavy guardedness that this is just not going to live up to what I have in my mind. What in my mind is this grand masterpiece and this yeah. is going to be a mess, <laughs> you know. Um, so I, I, I had that out of me. But, but honestly, as we were making it, like I started to find myself like um, stunned with the actors. Uh, I was like, wow, they are doing things that I could not have expected. This boy, Alan, he's a genius. Like I, uh, his performance was much better than what I expected on page. And um, Steven and YJ, Yeti, um, all the things that they were doing were so incredible. It's like everybody was adding their best work and it was better than I could have expected or imagined. And that's when I thought, um, this is the way it needs to be from here on out. Like I, I really need to be pushing for everyone's participation in providing their best work. And if I am enabling them to do that and harnessing it into this one project, it's going to be better than what I expected. Mm -hmm.